every one of us has the most interesting dog in the world. We know that. But playing him today was happy. Hallmark Channel's canine ambassador. Our next two presenters are both Emmy winners and partnered together on Dancing with the Stars. Let's give a right tip-top terrific welcome to Derek Huff and Brindy Irwin. I love this girl. <laughs> Vinny and I love being teamed up together, whether it's on Dancing with the Stars. Or on something that is a lot less exhausting, but is incredibly important to both of us. And that is to be here to honor America's hero dogs. Military working dogs have been a part of the US Armed Forces for more than 150 years, saving American lives in combat from civil war to the recent wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. They are amazing animals, serving as guards, protecting the troops, and detecting explosives. Just like this year's military hero dog, Rambo. Woohoo! <laughs> Military Dog. Sponsored by Rumadil Canine Courage Program. Rambo was two years old. When you get a working dog, you don't get to pick the working dog. And this is the name Rambo. Okay. Well, I'm thinking this big, huge, massive dog. This is going to be a great, aggressive dog. And in comes this mangy mutt. <laughs> He never would even come to his name. He just would run away from me. I mean, I just was like, this dog is never gonna do anything for me. <laughs> Took a little bit of time um, and the bond, you know, grows. He was an amazing little detector dog. He had over a thousand hours of training in the short period of time that he was with us. He got injured early on. I had to take him immediately over to the vets, and the vets never caught the injury until a year later. And they finally assessed it, and it was just beyond the point that he could be fixed. He had DJD, which is degenerative joint disorder, that had just caused so much pain. He was on a lot of pain meds, and he couldn't do the work that we needed him to do for us anymore. The minute that call comes out that a young military working dog is getting retired, people want that dog. They didn't want him as soon as they found out how needy he was. There was just very few candidates that I felt were suitable for him. I was a 91 Tango, which was a veterinarian technician. I took care of our nation's military working dogs while on active duty. Unfortunately, though, when they retire, military working dogs still do not get medical benefits from the government. Gizmo's gift was established to meet the needs that were not being met by the government. We are a nonprofit that offers financial assistance to families who adopt retired working dogs. That could be surgeries, food, prescriptions. We want to make sure that these dogs live a comfortable life. No needs go unmet. I heard about Rambo, so I called Brandy and I was like, hey, if you would like, I would be able to offer Rambo a forever home. Even though it was very, very, very hard, not wanting him to go, but knowing that he was going to the right place. Rambo came to me with many needs, and with his shoulder injury, he was on a lot of pain medication that he needed daily, if not twice a day. And that really didn't even keep the pain away. Like he fatigued quite easily and quality of life, like you can't run and play. I didn't want that to happen to Rambo. It was a tough decision, but an easy decision to amputate. I had a really hard time with that. But in the long run, I knew that would be best for Rambo. When Rambo finally woke up out of his grogginess, the look on his face just melted my heart. He was out of that chronic pain. Not even 24 hours, he was up and trying to run around. He has so much resilience, and he's really become a doggy advocate for all military working dogs and working dogs in general. With Gizmo's gift, Rambo and I can start raising awareness for these dogs. Our main mission is to educate, and having Rambo there, it makes it more personal. One of the events we do is going to Morgan's Wonderland. This theme park is open up to anyone of any capability. 
And so we go there to show that there's a connection, that Rambo also is special needs and has come up in conflict in life. And you know what, you need to take charge and, and keep going. Another event is the Veterans Breakfast. Rambo and I are here visiting our World War II veterans. Being at these events really brings out the joy because they know that he also served. The fact that not all of us come out without a scratch, I'm glad to see him and he's still <laughs> kicking along like all the rest of us. <laughs> he really is doing what I guess he was probably meant to do. It's hard to let go. But every time I see Rambo and I see Lisa and I see what's going on and what's happening, it does my heart wonders to see what he's doing. That to me is amazing. Please welcome our 2015 military dog, Rambo. And Lisa Phillips, give it up for him. Thank you. Um, when we first found out about this, we just got so excited, I actually ended up losing my voice. So Rambo now speaks for us and all of his furry uh, battle buddies. We would like to first thank God above, who has just blessed us tremendously. Rambo is actually a member of the Remedial Canine Courage Program, so we were honored that Zoetis actually then sponsored us in this award. Thank you all so much. <laughs>